This is the smaller of the two one-bedroom apartments. They call this a studio. Of course, it's really a one-bedroom apartment. These doors open up to a sliding glass door that goes out to a little patio and out to the street. Okay, and we'll pan around. So here's the living area. It's got a rug here. Here's a little kitchen and the appliances, the stove and range and uh, fridge, microwave, table, all of this furniture stays in this unit. It's a little window unit. Back here is the bedroom, which also is actually quite bright if you open these big shutters on this window. And then here's Another sliding glass door, again, that goes out toward the street. There's a big closet in this one bedroom unit. It's a TV and the DVD player, they stay. This stays, basically everything in here stays as far as I know. And this is the nice size bathroom for this one bedroom unit, big shower. And this is all in pretty good shape. And here's your fridge and kitchen. And now I'll go around to the second apartment, which is also a one bedroom on the ground level, but it looks out over the pool and it's huge. So I'll go around to that next. Okay, I've just walked outside that first little apartment. Again, here's how we walked in. This is the little front yard, and I'm just going to go around the side. There's a little walkway here. Go around the side to sort of a, the main entry for both the main house upstairs and this little apartment. Here's, here's the driveway, of course. It's a long drive. Could get three or four cars up in here. Okay, here's sort of the main entry. Okay, I've just stepped inside the front door. I'm in the little entryway. Now, to the right, is the lock off for the laundry, uh, the washer dryer, the utility room, and there's a, actually a fourth little apartment here that is self-contained. This is all storage and there's a lot of it. But then over here is a little maid's quarters that is actually has a bed, has a tiny little kitchenette, and the maid has her own shower and bath. So that's actually a fourth little apartment but of course it's not something you'd normally rent. But going back into the main part of the house, again, we're still on the ground floor. We've just walked past the entry again. We're still in the entry. This is a lock off that goes up to the main living area, the big up upstairs living area, which we'll go up to in a moment. But for now, we're gonna go right past this closet and into this large one bedroom unit. It's huge. So this is another one bedroom ground floor unit Again, everything in this is included so far as I know. There certainly aren't any major exclusions down here. There's a microwave in this big, big, bright living area. Now I've got right now, this is included as far as I know. These again are these wooden shutters that open out to the pool area. So this walks out to the pool in the backyard. There, right there, you can see is our is the gate that you were asking about that goes out to the street. And over there is the pool pump house. Now this is another side sliding door that would give you another private entrance into this apartment or your tenant would have a private entrance. Would not have to come in that main sort of front door on the side. So this can be marketed as with a private entrance. Now again, this is just a very large one bedroom. Again, here's the um, large bathroom for this huge one bedroom unit on the pool side of the downstairs. Lots of storage, lots of closet. Toilet area. Nice size shower. Little arches everywhere. Plenty of room here to put in a second 
sink if you wanted to do that. I'll try to get out of the way so I don't pop up in every mirror. Okay. And then to the right is the one bedroom. Also, it's a large bedroom. It has the same shutters for keeping it quieter and cooler and darker, or you can open up and have your sliding glass door out to the yard and the pool. This one also has a window unit. And then this goes out to another little side walkway. Okay, we've come back into the entry near the front door and we're going upstairs to the sort of main part of the house, the big two bedroom upstairs. Big window there. All right, it's a big room here. Lots of it's a very bright area. This is the the kitchen again. All these appliances stay. Lots of cabinet space. Lots of cabinets here, here microwave, coffee maker, and then a big terrace that has a planter that you could use on the outer edge that goes kind of all the way, not all the way around, but quite a ways around this big room. Again, those are sliding glass doors out to that terrace that kind of encircles this. Now, this table and chairs are one of the only things on the exclusion list. I think there's one other thing, but everything else is, is supposed to go with this unit. So this, of course, Lean over, this steps up. And then there's a kind of a nice architectural feature there, a big dome. The dome gives you a skylight to make this even brighter. Over here is the mini split air conditioning for this room. Now we'll go over to the master. Again, lots of furniture in here. Almost everything is included. The master suite has this big tub. It's got another skylight up here for light. Your toilet area. Wash basin area. And closet and storage. Oh, this also has a little nicho for decoration. And uh, I guess that must be for cleaning your fish, huh? Okay. And then through here is the master. This opens up and looks out toward the pool in the backyard out over it. And that's got that um, hot tub that you remembered, built-in hot tub that the pool does not, the uh, pump doesn't work on. Now up here is what I was talking about. And I stand corrected. I said plexiglass. I'm told that this is, this is glass. It's thick glass. But you can see the sort of translucent cloth shading above it doesn't really do the job and I think it's ugly also and this is where I would suggest my first thought would be to put a decorative palapa it would be beautiful to see the wood of the palapa very organic through the glass and uh, would keep this absolutely cool and now we'll go on into the second bedroom of this big upstairs area Again, quite a bit of furniture. The usual shutters if you want to keep things cooler and a little quieter. And this looks out over the neighbor's backyard and the pool. And again, there's the gate. This actually goes out to an access up to the utilities on the roof. And this also has the mini split air conditioning, as did the master. I forgot to pan up on it, but it does. And then this has its own bath, of course. Big storage. And just a shower that only has that on it. And then the wash basin dressing table area and then back out to the main area and the big kitchen again 
This is technically listed by my agent, Deborah Foster, so I'll have to ask Deborah, what was the other piece of furniture in addition to that dining room table and chairs that's not supposed to be included? We're in the backyard now, standing by the gate, just looking back at the pool and the house. <laughs> 